black news tonight. It's time to see what's popping in these digital streets. Get this, Nicki Minaj's husband's accuser, Jennifer Huff, well, she sat down and gave her first televised interview speaking of the couple's alleged harassment against her. Now, Huff opened up on the reel about the ongoing harassment that she allegedly received from associates of Petty and Minaj, going as far as to offer her money to recant her statement, and she even filed a lawsuit against the couple in August. Now, Kenneth Petty, P Kenneth Petty was convicted of attempted first-degree rape in 1995 for the assault of Huff in a New York when they were 16 years old. Petty recently pled guilty to not registering as a sex offender in California and is facing jail time. Now, my thing with this situation is I commend her for having the strength and the courage to finally come out. Of course, they asked her for the first she got to the set, why now, after all this time, are you telling this story? And she was says she was tired of living in fear and tired of hiding out and going through all of these emotional, distressing situations. So I commend her for being brave enough because everyone receive, should have the right to tell their side of the story, to reveal how they're feeling and what they're going through. Now, as far as Nicki Minaj and her husband, are concerned, I think at the, the least he could have done is made sure that he registered as a previous sex offender when he got to California. The unnecessary attention brought to him and to this situation all over again, and we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. And of course, we're going to make sure we bring you the latest. If he is sent to jail, we'll have it here first on BNC. All right, now to the next story. Rapper Lil Nas X recently took to Twitter to answer some of his fans' questions surrounding his new album, Montero. Yep, he finally gave birth. Well, in his tweets, he reveals that he sent the song to Industry Baby, that's the name of the song, to Nicki Minaj, but she never got back to him. If that's true, it's just tacky. Now, he also was asked why no black male rappers were featured on the album. Now, some can speculate why, but he told fans that rapper Ski Mask, the slump god, no clue who that is, was supposed to join Doja Cat on the track, Scoop, but he couldn't turn his verses in on time. I mean, hey, they're rappers. You should be used to that. <laughs> Just showing up when they want to. Now, even though the album has not been out for a full week, it already holds the number one spot on the midweek UK charts. I mean, the album had so much hype around that I can't believe more people didn't want to have the opportunity to get on this. I'm not going to be surprised if it hits number one on the U.S. charts also. But if you don't want to do someone's project, have the decency and the respect and the courage to just at least say that. Now, in all fairness, we don't know if those requests ever made it to those artists. He didn't say he spoke to them directly and asked them. But in the bigger scheme of the picture, I think they'll be the ones who miss out because I think his album's going to do well and they're going to miss out on not only some you know, opportunity to push their name up to the top of the charts, but also some of the cash associated with it. Shame on them if those allegations are true, and hopefully he will continue to put out great music. All right, well, get this. A college course will be taught about music artists Drake and The Weeknd right in their hometown of Toronto. Now, the course will explore their cultural contributions to both hip-hop and R&B and hip hop scholar Dalton Higgins plans to begin teaching the course in early 2022. I mean, I want to take it too online, maybe virtually. Well, in a celebratory Instagram post, Higgins captioned, it's time to get our Canadian rap and R&B icons recognized academically. Amid all the recent hype surrounding Drizzy, a debate sparked in these digital streets when rap TV asked Twitter if Drake is bigger than Michael Jackson at his peak. I mean, come on. This is like blasphemy. Are you serious right now? He was a global superstar, Michael Jackson was, selling out stadiums and convention centers and everything, and they know his music around the entire world. Drake, he may be on his way there, but he's not there yet. He has great music, and he's putting out a lot more better albums than other people, but sorry, have several seats. He's not there now. Why even make this comparison? If there was a voice, a versus opportunity, they wouldn't even do it because why? There's no point. He's not, he's, he's an artist, but he's not a performer like Michael Jackson. He's on a whole nother scale. That's all I have to say about that in these digital streets. But y'all have to stay with us because there's more Black News Tonight right after this break.